There's so many different identities, especially in London, maybe the UK in general, but that you have to kind of partition off a bit. You kind of feel like you belong to somewhere or something, some sort of subculture. And even a postcode is, is really definitive around here. It's crazy. I'm Rai Guy, an artist from South London, making psychedelia. I feel like when I was younger, I struggled a bit because I thought I had to be... I love so many artists and I thought that to be good, you had to kind of be like them or you had to be really clever or you had to, you know, had to be like poetry or something. Like I was obsessed with Nick Drake, but a lot, like mainly now, it, it's like my friends in bands who inspire me. Hello, I'm John Lennon. <laughs> no, um... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Oscar Brown. Um, I'm a musician, songwriter, and I've just released an EP of my own songs. My work explores the intersection between social and political change, uh, using social documentary photography as a humanist art form. <laughs> Through the lens, like I'm aiming to illuminate like elements of social change. My name is Ava Smith. I'm a photographer and filmmaker based in London. Painting is almost, for me, painting is performance. It's a performative act. Like you're re-performing histories, you're re-performing actions, and then you're kind of making them your own. I'm Harriet Poznanski. Uh, I'm a painter primarily. I think copying really helps. I think copying, copying artists that you like, copying things is the way to learn. Your voice will come through. My name's Huddy. Uh, I play guitar in the Shadrachs and I sing. Uh, and I'm also a painter and printmaker. Um, I live in London, grew up in Medway. That's where we started the band. There's loads of exciting things and I like to kind of bring things together so I might hear, like I listen to a lot of jazz music and a lot of soul and... Most of the fresh stuff are things that people are like nowadays taking from so many different sources, whether it be art or music or photography, whatever it is. Writing the song has been a process of finding out what it's about. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's important to tell a story and it be like accurate and true. I think it's a beautiful thing, you know, and then even cut it up after you're done with it, maybe way down the line. For me, I like to ab make it a bit more abstract after. With lyrics, I just try and make it like conversational. The lyrics could just be a phone call you had or yeah, just a conversation you've had. I think that's kind of the key. It's like, if it doesn't come naturally, then you can tell and people, other people can tell if it's like kind of a forced thing. It's been a long time coming And something in me has changed Ready to see. You can hide behind something quite cool or universal, or you know something that attempts to be um, beyond yourself. But actually, the most difficult thing as an artist for me, the like the biggest point of growth, was learning to like mine my own biography and look at my own personal relationship to shame, to my own body. What does it mean to look at the body through my gaze, through a female gaze? Like, what is female subjectivity? What is it? Because when you grow up, I feel it just took a long time like, to kind of like strip back a lot of stuff to the point where you're just like, yeah, this is like, this is my mind, this is what I think. It's, diff it's, it's difficult to work out why, why certain subject matter. I've been, 
working on a series for the last two years, I think, on horses. Horses by themselves and often young men and boys on horses. I started shooting like protests and events that were happening around London. So Trans Pride in 2021, I think was the first time that I shot like documentary style. And then I fell in love with the process because it's like, you know, you're never gonna have that moment again. It's like a shared moment where you don't feel that void. <laughs> After I play a gig, I usually feel a lot better than I did before. I enjoy work, I enjoy painting, and I think if I could do that every day in some way, that would be pretty good. Like the art helping the artist to start with. It was almost like therapy. Um, and so I hope other people can have the same thing. It's okay if they're not, though. I'm happy if it's just me that's getting enjoyment. But, yeah. Yeah. What is going on outside is definitely inside me. So it's like an inspection in that way. I think it just comes out in a different way. I don't, I don't actually really know. I think I'm just trying to make, make music of what I'm experiencing and I think that's a, an item of what's, what's in front of me, to be honest. Art is a point of connection back to the emotions, the handmade. I think ultimately with those questions, it's who's your audience and it's always going to be human, like people. You, you, and I. Has the light gone out or is the candle burning on Uh, I love making people cry, sure, yeah. <laughs>